Okay, so we're out here, uh, we're heading on our road trip, and uh, we're going down south a little bit from me to uh, Fall River, and down there is Battleship Cove, which is, I believe, one of the largest um, maritime museums. Uh, it might, may also be the largest either in the world or in, Mass in uh, the U.S. Um, they have about six or seven ships down there. We're going to go take a look at them. Um, so you guys get to skip the hour drive, and I get to drive it. So, let's get started. One piece. Let's go inside. I think they might have to call Keith. I think he can get that back in shape. Oh, what do you think? Down we go. I'm just going to spend some time reading these. Liberty Call occupies for a brief Oh yeah, here's my idea of uh, creature comfort. Look at this. Well, here's something that'll interest you guys. Here's a machine shop. Bench grinder, bench box. <laughs> Old Prentice Lathe. Too bad I can't get in there and play with it. Because I would. You see wear on those ways? Usually they have, um, I don't know if you guys can, 
I usually have, you can't really see it through the, I maybe can. And I need an extra chuck. Yeah. Oh, drill press back there too. But they're usually on, um, like floating mounts, the big rubber mounts underneath. What's a metal stock? You need some metal? Base plate. Let's go take a look at the engines. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh. She's a little cramped in here. Some large wheels, man. I can only imagine how loud it got in here. I'd like to be the guy that's got to crawl down there and fix all that stuff. This is all part of the boiler. Do you imagine how noisy it got in this place? I wonder how cramped it is. Enjoy to be shoved down here for your entire shift. Maybe Tom would like one of those trays. Fire control room. That is a lot of switches, man. All right, we'll hit up that ladder in a second. Ship was modernized, so that's when these missile launches were added. It's the loading system. These are actually helicopters. Remote control. 
helicopters. Precursors of drones. There's a picture of it right here. And this is where they stored them. A little hangar on the deck. Pretty damn cool. Here's the bridge. Kind of wish you can get in there. Let's see if we can get into the submarine. There's a submarine. That behind there is a uh, Russian slash German missile frigate or something like that. And then the Massachusetts behind it. So we got two more to go. Now we're in the submarine. This sector is small. These are aft torpedoes. Imagine I have to sit in here and playing with these things. Oh jeez, they don't make this thing for small, for tall people. Glad I'm not tall. I am fat though. Oh! Oh Jesus. That is a ladder going down to somewhere where I don't think you would want to go. Gotta pee. Jesus. And a sideways drew here. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. There's a lot of electrical looking stuff in there. Danger high voltage. Oh god, yeah. Oh, duck and Z again. Oh wow. Oh. These are the engines. Jesus. Look at these things. Just imagine the racket that's in here. You don't know what every one of these little valves does. And start. <clears throat> Another door. Built for comfort, let me tell you that. Oh, we got a cutaway. Tell you what that thing looks like. Slap on those in my truck, see what happens. Oh, dear God. Nope. Biggest room so far. This is actually the mess, I'm pretty sure. It's because of the fact that it's has a ice cream machine. Knocks 
oxygen bottles. I bet you this doubles out of the med bay too. Very plush. This is the shower. Forward torpedo room. Oh yeah, that's where I want to sleep. Right above the torpedoes. I think that's a torpedo loading hatch. No, that's a torpedo loading hatch. It's like the Duan Bombers, Japanese sunk. Oh, that's it for the submarine. Let's go to the Russian. The submarine was fold in. Now this is Russian built. It was uh, part of the East German Navy. And then we acquired it after the fall of the Berlin Wall. And uh, we ran tests on it. I believe this is still technically owned by the U.S. Navy. As you can tell by the Russian language on that. It's a missile uh, frigate, I think. There's the missiles. Come back to that. We'll go inside first. Uh, let's see here. That's the name. Uh, down we go. Very front, which is obviously crew quarters. And this is underneath that gun mount. Make you see all the labels they put. Over the Russian. Mm 
with some sort of radar stations. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that the hull is so thin. That's the water against the hull from the just from the harbor. Imagine what this thing sounded like when it was going full tilt. Back up we go. It doesn't look very friendly. Pretty good. Back in we go. Greg, oh, this is uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sliding off the seat. I wonder if oh, let me see if I can get this thing in focus. Oh, well, it's going to come through on the video, but. Isn't that there? Some sort of spotting scope up on top. Nice. Chart room. Alright, let's go to the let's go to the battleship. <laughs> 